What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome back to the Ment Trust Alone Only Cycle. I appreciate everyone who has been you know, with me on the road to my comeback out of my my crazy mental health slum. But I am continuing the ment only experiment. I obviously want to get straight to the point and go into how I'm feeling. So mentally, how I'm feeling on ment, extremely snappy. It has changed my mood 100% and spikes my bipolarism. So if you are looking for something that doesn't impact your mood too much, trust alone is not really the thing. I am still weighing in around 260 pounds in the morning. This is the second to last episode. So on the last episode, I will jump on the scale to prove it. But, you know, a lot of estrogen water weight. I basically gained 10 pounds of E2 bloat conversion. Everyone getting mad that, like, I'm fucking around saying I'm the bloat lord. Like, this has been an ongoing joke for years. All you new followers need to just jump on the train and deal with it. Because I will retire the bloat lord come January. You will all miss the bloat lord. You'll ask for the bloat lord back, so enjoy it while it lasts. So, yeah, we're going to go to the gym and train chest. Um, right off the bat, there is a Young LA drop tomorrow. So, Young LA is dropping backpack as well as gym bags. So, if that interests you, very high quality bags. And really cool thing about this backpack is it opens all the way up. And there is a ton of detail on this gym bag. Ton of attention, like lifted logos, honeycomb reflective, like screwed on rubber feet that are really solid. Just the shoe compartment. So if that interests you, um, feel free to use my code on the drop tomorrow. As far as what I'm training today, so Dante wants me to deadlift. I trained legs yesterday, so that's not gonna happen, but I will deadlift on the final episode and I will pull a big number for you guys. So as far as my strength, you know, it has increased significantly despite me keeping my calories super low because I'm not trying to get any fatter than I already am, but strength is way up. My joints feel great with all the estrogen. Like it feels great to lift heavy. However, it does um, increase my blood pressure, obviously. So I have been regulating my blood pressure with Cialis five to 10 milligrams a day to keep my blood pressure down, which is a temporary fix to a problem I can't fix. You're fighting a losing battle with the estrogen conversion. There is so much estrogen conversion with men. I think it is the most crazy estrogen conversion out of any steroid in existence. I have been adding in Exemestane, which helped tremendously. I tried as long as I could to do no AI to see the worst of the side effects. And oh my God, I mean, you guys saw those first episodes, how lethargic I was. This is helping a lot. So that is what I'm doing as far as mitigating, not really mitigating, just being able to tolerate this a little bit longer to document it. But you know, with trust alone only, people are like, why are you doing it? It's to document this experiment, right? I did MPP only. Everyone's like, oh, DECA only, DECA only. The same hype is with trust alone only. So it's not to cause crazy amounts of results. It's just to document what happens. And like, if you want to see what actually happens with something, you should really isolate the single variable as much as you can. So yeah, right off the bat is the impact of my mood. Blood pressure is crazy. Strength through the roof. I have like those lower back estrogen pumps. So yeah, that's not a good feeling. If you've ever done back on a lot of estrogen, like you're just like, ah. So I have like a lower back estrogen pump. So a lot of side effects, extremely powerful. My two cents, Russo, two cents, Russo, would be to run it like reversing out of a hardcore cut. Like if you reversed out of a hardcore cut, you know, kept your calories super high and attempted to control the estrogen on the way up and were just lifting heavy, I could see you gaining a shit ton of tissue because estrogen is really what's needed to build a lot of tissue quickly. Like this is 100% a wet cycle. But the thing is like, if you look at my face, I started off like really bloated, but like even though I gained 10 pounds of water, my face does look leaner. So we're going to see how I look in the gym. Today I am going to add in a little bit of something in the GH pathway. So 
I am going with, if I have any, so I am going with a little bit of IGF LR3 receptor grade from Pure Oz. And I have just been, the reason why I've been doing LR3, I don't do LR3 constantly, but I have been adding it in to try and bring up my weak ass chest as much as possible. This is the worst body part. And when I actually get lean and shredded, and you can actually see what my muscles look like. I don't know how you guys are judging my genetics this fat, but like you can, you can feel free to elaborate with science in the comments how you judge someone who's fat with their muscle insertions and how you look lean. Can you tell me? Anyways, you know, when I do shred down, my chest is going to be my weakest body part, so I do add in IGF on chest day to pin it right in the chest and try and shove and pump as much of it as around, around as possible. And then... I am going to be doing an intro workout drink because I am slightly fasted. I ate this morning at around 8 in the morning and it is currently almost 1. So I'm going to be doing two scoops of carb tech with anabolic IV. So this is going to shove really fast acting carbs in my muscle, which is going to help keep me fuller during the workout while I'm basically in a fasted state. And it's going to prolong my pump. This is gonna prolong my pump and muscle fullness and I'm going to sip on this during the workout. Pre-workout then we will start the track clock and get to the gym. I am not doing any stimulants on men at all. I drank some fucking tea, some really high caffeine tea and got bloodshot eyes. So no stimulants at all, no gorilla mode. Everyone wants me to try the Big Rammy's Rage. I can't try this until I'm cruising on TRT so I'm just going with nitric. So nitric, two scoops of nitric. This is a vasodilator non-stim product. And this is gonna help keep my blood pressure low during the workout where my heart rate is obviously going to be amplified. So that's all the plugs guys. Let's get to the training and I will see you guys at the gym. Shout out to Penta Water. No sponsor, but yeah. the smoothest water. I don't think I'm gonna get a sponsor. I can only find this in like the the bougie ass Whole Foods fucking farmers market, farmers market grocery stores, but Penta, give it a shot. Do you OGs remember when Ryan would always talk about beetroot powder from Walmart? Yeah, so I don't give them a free plug, don't they? Like, I I remember I, I, I was gonna lead up to it saying. So when I did the injectable SARMs bulk, which was LGD forty thirty three plus injectable YK11, plus 40 milligrams a day of 677. My blood pressure was horrendous that entire time. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna use beets to regulate my blood pressure because that's a really inexpensive, cheap vasodilator. So, you know, every time on my Instagram at Russo Lifts, I would plug me going to Walmart and getting power beets, which is this like $15, vasodilator supplement which is basically red beet powder and the amount of people who dm me that they bought that shit and i try and reach out to the owner to do a plug and crickets play the cricket noise with dante cricket so i don't know what their deal is i could have been like the first power beat sponsored athlete but i'll dis power beats if you drink too much of that that's kidney toxic so if you do too much red beet powder it's not good for your kidneys they saw the stocks go up and they just let Ryan's DMs go red. So, has anyone ever seen the, uh, oh, by the way, I'm doing Citrus Bergmont from Grow Mon Lincoln Bio, Astragalus for cholesterol. I take these every day. It's a health supplement every single enhanced lifter should take. But, Dante, have you ever done the dry swallow contest? No. You fit as many pillows or caps as you can, and you can't use any water. And your record's like ridiculous. I'm pretty good at swallowing pills. I think I could do a lot, so. I know I can do like two animal packs at once. Obviously on YouTube, that won't fly, but maybe, maybe on the IG story I'll do it. I probably got 10 dislikes with talking with my mouth fucking full of pills. All right guys, let's actually get to the gym. Trying to get everyone on the Turkish stair on drop. Derek, this shit sells out too quick. Like, come on, man. I don't got that fuck you clout, so I can never get my followers in on the drop. Got myself a pair of the 
Young LA wrist wraps. I'm also not a litterer. No! <laughs> Got it. Save the sea turtles in Pittsburgh, guys. There's a lot of them out there. Gotta be careful when they're nesting. So what'd you get recently? Wrist wraps. So, I'll show you how. I also love my gangster wraps. I love Mark Bell. You know, can't complain, but Dante, smell these. Smell these on camera. Smell these on camera. So as you can see, Dante can agree, I'm due for a new set of wraps, right? Yeah. They're beyond, they're beyond done. So, but shout out to Mark Bell, gangsta. But doing the Young LA, nice ass logo right there. And they got the left and right labels. Is there even a difference? Maybe how your thumbs fit in the thing? Yeah, though. maybe. I don't know. I've never even seen that before, but... It's formality. Let's get the... Ch yeah. Hey! Hey! Daniel Taylor. The Turk. You know, like I said, Derek, like, my followers want the Turkisterone. I let them know. They make it through the checkout and they get booted out. Like, what is this, Derek? Let's go, man. Get, like, your little delts, man, they're communicating with your peanut sized head. So you gotta, like, consult with the two delts on the sides of your body to, like, fucking come up with a solution to fix this back end issue. So if people don't understand that joke, I made this joke up forever ago, but if you remember, I'll have Dante throw him up. Timmy Turner, the guy with like the boil on his face, you know, the boil was the mastermind that controlled the brain, you know. Derek has this same issue, man. He's got these two delts, and they control his little peanut-sized brain. That's why he can't keep Turkisterone in stock for you guys. So he's got to consult with his brain for the mastermind plan to fix his back-end issue. Amrap, over six, over six. People are sick of seeing. I'll be accurate, over six. My record, I think, is um when I actually used to train hard is like twelve or thirteen. So it's over six. Wrist, I got those. I was never supposed to be big wrist. I don't see any size, right? What big are you talking about? Well, I don't. I don't even lift. So I only lift. The free pizza days at Planet Fitness. That's when I live, you know? That's how the Bloat Lord rolls. Like, they normally got Tootsie Rolls there, but every Friday, man, that's when I show up and I fucking get some arms in and leave. Planet Fitness. This. 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 accurate. <laughs> well, I was six afraid of seven, Ryan. Because seven, eight, Ryan. Now this is the part where I realize I'm on men. And I just like regurgitate my air until it comes down. I love men, guys. Best roid ever. Yeah, let's see how that video sent on Instagram. How come that sent in, man? Because it's Wi-Fi today. Huh? You make us on Wi-Fi, not a dark. I don't know, but that looks like how it looks on your camera. Androids can send videos to iPhones, correct? No, Androids. I don't hate on Androids. I can't with this mount. I don't know how you guys do it. I'm just sitting here like. Gotta do more cardio, right? I'm fucking Cialis. Doing 40 minutes of stairs every fucking day. 
It's not cardio. <sighs> All dogs go to heaven. Don't be a fucking chihuahua. All you people fight. I said, oh, I can't talk on this shit. Like, man, has my blood pressure so high after every set. What's up? I trained the gyno today, don't have to the lower titty. been impacted at all no I get a lot of questions of that when I um, did DECA only so yeah Tresalone only as long as you have no test in there your libido is completely fine my libido has actually been way elevated on it just like it was with um, MPP only DECA only so yeah overall my thoughts really haven't changed the eczema stain has definitely made me a lot crispier because it's just fighting that estrogen water but I feel super strong I am not eating correctly at all for this type of cycle right i'm not trying to gain any more weight than i have to i'm very low when it comes to daily intake of carbs so for me to go back up to inclining 125 for seven on shitty sleep one tiny little meal this morning not consisting of very many carbs that just shows the power like if i was actually pounding food if my metabolism wasn't fucked up like it was right now i feel like you could get extremely fucking strong and my joints feel great lifting heavy but the blood pressure is no joke i mean you guys heard me talking up there i'm panting like a dog the entire time and it's not because i don't do cardio it's not because you know i'm just like i'm like i do 40 minutes of stairs every single day right now like i'm really trying here and my metabolism hasn't been being my friend so it's not because of the cardio right it just I'd be real careful with it. Like if you want to run it, I'd have a blood pressure monitor every day and I'd be adjusting that Cialis dosage and adjusting that MEN dosage accordingly to keep it just slightly elevated because if you let it get out of hand, that's how bad things happen. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Appreciate everyone sticking around for the comeback and I'll see you guys in my next video.